I'm going to be quite honest with you. What's up, it's your boy Mayhem Matthew. Today we are going to be uh, previewing the 2023 Arkansas football schedule. And uh, let's go ahead and get on into it. We're going to start with offense. Dan Enos is set to return as the offensive coordinator for the Arkansas Razorbacks. He was uh, previously offensive coordinator for the Razorbacks from 2015 to 2017. Uh, you return players like quarterback, K.J. Jefferson, uh, Rocket Sanders, guard Brady Latham, and Bo Limmer, and wide receiver Bryce Stevens. But you also lose a lot on the offensive line. You lose uh, Luke Jones, left tackle, uh, center Ricky Stromberg, and right tackle Dalton Wagner. But don't worry because you got guys like the Florida transfer, Josh Braun, Devin Manuel, Andrew Chambly, and Crawford uh, battling it out to see who's going to be uh, on that offensive line there. Uh, let's talk about the wide receivers. You lose a lot on the wide receiver position. Um, you lose Matt Landers, Jaden Hazelwood, Katron Jackson, Warren Thompson, and tight end Trey Knox. So that is a lot that you lose there from the wide receivers. But do not worry, guys. Because you got some guys from the transfer portal. Uh, you got Tyrone, Isaac, and Andrew Armstrong uh, there from the portal. Uh, let's talk about the defense. You have new defensive coordinator, Travis Williams. And you lose a lot defensively. So on the defense, you lose lineman Jordan, Isaiah, and linebackers, uh, Drew Sanders, he was a first-team All-SEC, and you lose pump, Bumper Pool to the NFL. And also, you lose uh, Safety Jalen, and you lose uh, Simeon Blair. Uh, Jalen transferred to Texas, and Simeon uh, transferred to Memphis there. So you lose quite a bunch. Um, but you also have a lot of transfers, including uh, John Morgan from Pitt and Jeff Cook from Missouri up front. You also have Al Walcott from Baylor and uh, Lorando Johnson from Baylor in the secondary. Uh, you also have USF transfer Antonio Greer and uh, Chris Paul to uh, at linebacker. So uh, you do gain a lot of transfer portal guys there let's take a look at uh the 2023 arkansas football schedule y'all start off with western carolina and then y'all play kent state y'all got two easy uh home games there to start the season and then y'all play byu at home so i think your first three games should be uh winnable games there and then you go on the road at lsu which is going to be very tough and a tall task to beat them. Uh, Y'all played them very closely last year, uh, but that was at Arkansas. But uh, this year, y'all go to Tiger Stadium. LSU is going to be a much improved team. Then y'all face Texas A&M uh, at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And then y'all face, uh, y'all go on the road to face the Ole Miss Rebels. And then y'all have another road game uh, at Alabama Crimson Tide at Bryant-Denny Stadium. So back-to-back -back road games there is going to be very tough, uh, especially, you know, what y'all lose uh, on y'all's team. And then y'all go back home to Razorback Stadium and play Mississippi State. And then y'all have y'all's bye week. And then you go on the road to Ben Hill Griffin Stadium to play the Florida Gators. And then y'all uh, come back home to play the Auburn Tigers. And then y'all uh, stay, remain home to play the FIU Panthers. And to end the season, y'all play every single year the Missouri Tigers. But this year, it will be at Razorback Stadium. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um, I think Arkansas is definitely rebuilding this year. 
So I'm going to go ahead and say that the most wins that y'all can have um, is probably eight wins. I'm going to say eight, and I think the floor, uh, the bottom of the barrel, I think y'all can win five games, okay? So five and seven and uh, eight and four is what I got y'all as a ceiling and bottom of the barrel. Hey, if you like this content, smash the thumbs up. And if you really like this content, hit the subscribe button. Deeper with me is my chain. I had to fly in little jersey to come with that thing. Chocolate nigga, I'm bae. Soon as I got to the city, she brought me that brain.